Hi all, welcome back to Order 16 Development Tutorials. In this video, let us check building a module in Order 16. As we all know, Order is basically a web based open source framework which acts as a solution for all business requirements. An Order module is a set of business logic which helps to enhance the existing functionality or to add some new functionality in Order. So, in this video, Let's check how to create a custom module school management in Odo 16. For that, let's go to the PyCharm. So in the PyCharm, uh, in the Odo 16 folder, I'm just creating a custom directory and giving its name as custom add-ons. And inside this directory custom add-ons, I can create the modules that I needed and then I can add its path as its path location is along with the add-ons path in the order.conf. So I'm just creating a new directory that is school management. And this module helps to create the records of student admission in a school. And then inside the school management, I'm just creating the Python file init.py. And which is the python module descriptor file where we can load the python packages that needed for this module school management and then the next important python file that is needed is manifest file which is the metadata of the module and this file helps to show the module name on the order app list and then the next is models the models directory can be used to create business objects. That means we can add new business objects or we can inherit the current business object that is the default Odo. So in the models file, I am just creating the python file init.py which helps you load the python files that is used in the models. Normally the business objects are created using the .py python files. And then the next python file I am just creating as school.py. And then here I can create the business object that needed for my business rig or I can inherit the other objects in the default Odo. So I am just importing from Odo import models that I need to define comma fields. And then I am just defining a new model class school and then models dot model. And then the first and then giving its name as school.student and this is the name that I am given for this particular business object and then here we can define the fields that we needed to show on this school.student model. So I am just added the field as name that is fields dot as a mini to type from the restaurant partner. And then class then division And if we need to add further more fields, we can add it along with the school.student business object. Then about the object views, object views can be created under the views directory. So inside the school management module, I am just creating the directory views. Here I can create the object views that means which contains the business objects in the UI. So I can create the .xml files. So I'm just creating a school.xml file. And inside this file, I can create the menu item of the school that I needed and the actions and then the views that I needed for the school management module. 
and in the views school.xml file where I can create the object views and here I defined the menu item as school menu and then the subsequent menu, school exams menu with the parent of school menu and its action and then a basic view of formula for that particular model. Likewise, whatever the objects that we need to see on the UI can be defined at here. Then about the next thing that is security files. From here we can create a directory as security and then here we can define the access rights and then we can give the access for each users on each models. Here we can create ir.model.access.csv files. Here we can define the ID, name, model ID, group ID, permission to read, light, create and unlink for each users. So for example, our school.student model, I am just creating the ID as access.student and then its name as access.student and its model name as model underscore school underscore student. And for which users? So I am just defining it as base.group user as the normal internal user. Then we can add its a permission for write, read, create, and unclick. Currently, for this user, I am giving the full permission. So I add it as everything as one. And then using these CSV files with the help us to create the access rights for each user on each on each model. And also, if we need to create some access restrictions, also can be created under this security file. Then next type of files that inside a module, that is a wizard files. If we need to create some pop-up windows for a particular function, then we can create the wizard, file, wizard directories. And inside this wizard directory, we can create a init.py python file. And then a subsequently wizard.py python file. And the init.py python file, which, load, which loads the Python files that created inside the wizard folder. In, then the next type of files in a module that is report files. If we need to create some particular reports based on our module functionality, we can create those reports inside this rep, inside this report folder. We can create any.py python file which loads the python files that is user inside this report folder. And if you are using corresponding templates, those templates also can be created under this report file. If you need to load some data along with the module installation, that data can be included in this data folder. And then if you need to load some demo data while we installing this module, those demo data also can be added inside this demo folder. And the controllers folder which helps to manage the front end and back end actions. Then moving to the manifest and manifest which is the metadata of the module and it has some required fields name. We need to add a name for the module and then the summary, a short summary regarding the functionality of the module and then the descriptions and then the order, website, category, under which category is module is working and then its version and this version is based on the semantic version rule and then depends if this module's functionality is depends on any other modules of Odo or if in this module if we are use if we are inheriting some functionality in the default Odo those depends modules can be added at here and then data file and then the data file here inside the data to load the data files that the user inside this module and then here I loaded the security and then the views school.xml. And then if we are creating some demo files along with the demo data, those demo files can be loaded at here. And then we need to kept it as installable equal to true and application equal to true and auto install as false. And then let's go to the order.conf and then give the path of these custom add-ons along with the add-ons path in the order.conf and then run the pipe charm. Let's go to the UI. And in the UI, let's go to the apps. And here in the apps, let's update the app list. And then apply schedule upgrades. And then search for our module school management. And, uh, and if we added the manifest, then only this module is shown on the order app list. And then let's click on the install.
then our module is successfully installed then go to our school and our menu school and from here we can create the records of student and then here we can choose the class and then the particular division likewise we can create similar student records using this module likewise we can build a custom module in order 16 using the models views security and then the manifest and init file in order